the Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you partially transcribed by the Kraft Foods Company. And Kraft, you know, makes the famous pasteurized processed cheese food, Velveeta. Velveeta has a wonderful cheddar cheese flavor that's rich yet delightfully mild. It's delicious, and it's the finest quality cheese food you can buy because it's made by Kraft, the name that for years has meant only the finest in cheese and cheese foods. Get a package or loaf of Velveeta tomorrow and enjoy the cheese food of top quality, Velveeta, made only by Kraft. Well, there's a nip in the air this morning. The shocks of yellowing corn are frosty in the fields. The pumpkins have been harvested and given faces with toothy grins, for it's Halloween. In the schools, the children are fidgeting at their desks with impish gleams in their eyes, waiting for darkness to fall. In Floyd's barbershop, the great Gildersleeve is getting himself a Halloween haircut. Be careful with the scissors, Floyd. I'm watching, Commish. Floyd, what'll we jolly boys do tonight? If you don't hold your head still, the rest of us might be attending a wake. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it's Halloween. We should do something special. You mean you ain't booked for tonight? What do you mean by that? Well, since that classy Mrs. Winthrop come to town, you ain't had time for us jolly boys. Yeah, oh, Floyd, you know the club comes first with me. Gee, I thought sure you'd be stepping out. Well, she's busy. Yeah, I mean, she's going to a shindig at the country club. Ah, and you ain't invited, huh? You mean all my tonsorial skill has went for no avail? (laughs) Well, I'm afraid so, Floyd. We fellas should be able to cook up something. Well, we can come down to the club and sing. It will be minus our base. Police Chief Gates has to be on duty tonight to keep an eye on the kids. Yeah. When we was kids, we used to give our constable a bad time. Yeah, I guess we all did. I remember one Halloween, we soaped the windshield of his old Model T and dared him to catch us. You were asking for it, Floyd. Nah, we had an ace up our sleeve. He jumped in the car and took off, but we had his rear axle chained to a fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. You should be glad you wasn't the water commissioner that night. <laughs> well, there you are, Commish. You want to look at yourself in the mirror or just go out happy? <laughs> yeah, it looks fine. You, you know, Floyd, I have an idea. No kidding. You, I know we jolly boys throw a party for the kids tonight. They'll enjoy it and we'll help keep them out of mischief. Oh, let them live, Commish. No, Floyd, a lot of communities do things like this. We can stock the club with apples, noisemakers, candy, and games. Well, I suppose the kids will have fun, and we'll be doing Chief Gates a good turn. You bet. We'll notify the judge and Peavy, and everybody will have a great time. We'll take some money out of the treasury and buy prizes for the best costumes. Hey, you can wrap some vines around your neck and win a prize. You got a head like a pumpkin. <laughs> Floyd. You're only kidding, Commissioner. It's going to be quite a night. All the jolly boys went for my idea. I don't know what they do without me. Mm. It's only five o'clock. Hardly dusk yet. Are the black cats out already? Yeah, but that's Leroy behind the hedge. I'll sneak around the other side and take him by surprise. Kids can't wait until dark to scare somebody. Well, I'll turn the tables on him. Boo! Yipe! <laughs> Leroy! Hi, Unc. Sorry I come and thought I'd scare you. Well, you didn't. What are you doing with those batteries behind the hedge? I got an electric wire running to the front doorknob, but it isn't working. Oh? Well, what's it supposed to do? Oh, it's a neat trick for tonight. I wire it to somebody's doorknob, then ring the bell and run. When they open the door, they get a shock. You, <laughs> Leroy, come in the house. Oh, Unc, what for? Well, I have a much better idea about how you should spend your evening. Yeah? Step inside, my boy. Oh! <laughs> hey, how it's working! 
Tricks like this I want to talk to you about. Sorry, Uncle. Well, I'll overlook it this time. <laughs> Leroy, rather than go running all over town tonight, how would you like to come up to the Jolly Boys Club to a party? A party? Yep. We're throwing a party for all the kids. The judge, Phoebe, and Floyd. We've all chipped in to buy apples and candy and soda pop. All you can eat and you may win a prize. Gee, that's keen. Can I play that corny piano, Unc? Sure. Anything you want to do, Leroy. It's kids' night tonight. Oh, boy. I'm going to the Jolly Boys. I'm going to take a bath. <laughs> he wants to take a bath? <laughs> this is a better idea than I thought. Hello, Unky. Hello, Marjorie. What's Leroy so excited about? Well, the Jolly Boys decided to entertain the kiddies this evening. Oh? Show them a good time and keep them out of trouble. Oh, that sounds like a wonderful idea. Mine. <laughs> Unky, Mrs. Winthrop phoned a little while ago. She did? Mm-hmm. She's at the country club and wants you to call her there. Well, I'll call her right away. Unky, what if she invite you out there tonight? Well, that'd be a little awkward. The jolly boy... Hello? Will you page Mrs. Winthrop, please? Thank you. Yeah, I wonder if she does want me to join her party. Well, she's too late. I just have to tell her I have other commitments. Just her hard luck. <laughs> Hello, Paula. This is Throckmorton. Is that Halloween dinner dance? Thanks for inviting me, but... Well, it's like this, Paula. I... 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 I'll be there. <laughs> Marjorie. You watch that, Paula? No, oh, no. I was going to the Jolly Boys Club, but they'll understand. See you around eight-ish. Goodbye. What a woman. <laughs> Uncle Mort, I know you'd rather be with Mrs. Winthrop, but what about your party? Oh, Marjorie, the party will go along just the same. I've arranged everything. Jolly boys will have fun. The kids will have fun. I'm the only one who'll be missing out. All right, Unky. Sure. I'll run down to Peavy's and explain that I'm needed elsewhere. After all, I've made my contribution. I sparked the idea. Yo! Yes! <laughs> right, disconnect the door now. Hello, Peavy. Yeah, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. <laughs> what can I do for you? Uh, Peavy. About the Jolly Boys party tonight. Well, I'm ready for it. I'm here to tell you. Yes. Well, look Phoebe. at this box of favors I have for the kids. False faces, noisemakers. Nice. Mm, horns. Just listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll have a lot of fun, Pete. Oh, I'm sure we will. <laughs> Greetings, gentlemen. Well, hello, John. Oh, hello, Horace. Gildy, I saw you come in. I want to find out what costume you're wearing to our party tonight. Your costume? Is the water commissioner coming as a big fat mermaid? <laughs> <laughs> well, Judge, I was about to tell Peavy. I thought I'd fool everybody and come as a witch. A witch, Peavy? Yes, but Mrs. Peavy is using the broom this evening. <laughs> Her garden club is having a party, too. Well, whatever we wear, we'll all have a wonderful time. Gildy, you did a splendid thing when you suggested our little party. I congratulate you. Mm, Mr. Gilgis needs all right. Well, yeah, thank you, fellows. But as I've been trying to say, yeah, I mean, yeah, I hope you'll all have a good time. Yeah, unfortunately, I won't be able to attend. How's that? <laughs> What's the trouble, Gilday? Yeah, no trouble, Judge. And I'm sure you men will understand the situation when I explain. Well, start explaining. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's nothing I have to apologize for, Peavy. I've done my duty to the Jolly Boys party. I got it rolling. I'm sending food and favors. If I have to miss the party, it's my loss. Well, stop beating around the bush and tell us. <laughs> Gilday, could it be that you've made a date with Mrs. Winthrop? No, oh, Judge. Well, actually, she made it with me. Oh, fiddlestick. <laughs> <laughs> she did, Pete. She phoned and asked me to join her for the dance. <laughs> I'm sorry, fellows. Well... Got to run. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Peavy, aren't you going to say goodbye to me? I'm not going to say anything to you, turncoat. 
<laughs> well, as I can't go to both parties. Can I help it if I'm wanted in two places at once? It just happens that I'm popular. Well, now, I would not say that. <laughs> <laughs> George, it's 8 o'clock. I'm doing Paula's party right now. You wonder why it's always so hard to get a collar buttoned in. Oop, he dropped it. <laughs> now where'd it go? You must have rolled it into the dresser. Well, you, you, I... Uncle Mort. Yes, Marjorie. Bronco and I are leaving now. You all right, my dear. You wish I was. Uncle, don't forget to lock the garage door. Yeah, I won't. Everybody's off to their parties but me. You want to leave everything for me to do. You? Yeah, here's my collar button. What happened to it? Oh, it's a dime. Doorbell, Bertie! I did it! Con <laughs> confusion. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> Dizzy. Good thing I have one of those snap-on bow ties. I can fix it on the way down to the car. Yeah, where's my coat? You, you, I can't. I get my arm through this sleeve. My coat's not that tight. You over. <laughs> Bertie! I'm coming! Bertie, who sewed my sleeves together. <laughs> oh, so that's why Leroy wanted my needle and thread. Your <laughs> arm. <laughs> coat sleeves. You, what a boy. I'll rip it out, Mr. Gilsey. Yeah, thanks, Bertie. Who was at the door? Another trick or treater. Good thing you stocked up with treats. Well, Halloween's for the youngsters, Bertie. Yes, sir, and they're sure having fun tonight. Bertie's giving handouts to spooks, black cats, skeletons, and to one boy dressed like a gorilla. I hope that was a boy dressed like a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chances are it was, Bertie. Yes, sir. Mr. Gilsey, I have to get the scissors for this job. Well, please hurry, Bertie. I'm late for a very important date. Yes. <laughs> Never mind, Bertie. You get the scissors, I'll get the door. Hope the candy holds up. Uh, well, hello. Hello. You're the smallest ghost we've seen. Why'd you bother to ring the bell? Why didn't you just come in under the door? <laughs> I'm lost. Lost? Oh, my goodness. You're awfully small to be out alone, aren't you? I wasn't alone when I started, but I couldn't keep up. Yeah. I guess it would be pretty hard to get around in that flower sack. What's your name, little boy? Mike. Mike who? Mike Smith. You. Smith. Well, there are a lot of those. <laughs> There's your comfort still, please. Oh, who's that little fella? Your little lost ghost, Bertie. <laughs> lost? Yeah. How'd you get lost, honey? They ran away from me. He couldn't keep up with the other kids, Bertie. Yeah, I wonder if I could find them. Oh, Miss Gilsey, you run on to your party. They'll come looking for him. Yeah, I guess so. What if they don't? I'll call you at the country club, and I'll call the police. Well, I... Gosh. Oh, Mr. Gilsey, be scared. Look at the little fella grabbed you around the legs. <laughs> huh? Don't you run away from me, too? No, Mike, you don't need me. You, Bertie will take good care of you until your friends come back. If they don't find you, the police chief is a pal of mine. He'll get you home. You see, <laughs> I have a date. You understand, don't you, Mike? Hmm? <laughs> oh, the date can wait. <laughs> The Great Gildersleeve will be back in just a minute. There comes a time in the life of almost every homemaker when, for some reason or another, the food budget just won't stretch as far as it should. So let me suggest this. Next time you have budget trouble, let Velveeta be your handy helper. Cook with Kraft's famous pasteurized processed cheese food. You can melt Velveeta for a wonderful, smooth, golden cheese sauce... 
to add to leftover pieces of meat or seafood, or to use in a macaroni or vegetable casserole, or just to pour over plain toast. And this Velveeta sauce is so easy to make. All you do is melt a half pound of Velveeta in the top of your double boiler. Velveeta melts smoothly, perfectly. Then stir in a quarter cup of milk, seasoned to your particular taste, and there you have it. An easy cheese sauce that will help you with so many budget main dishes. A cheese sauce that will give those budget meals a wonderful, rich, yet mild cheddar cheese flavor. And a cheese sauce that will add new nourishment to your meals, too, because Velveeta is so rich in important food values from milk. And, of course, Velveeta is digestible as milk itself, so your whole family can enjoy it often. Stop at your grocer's tomorrow and get a package or loaf of Velveeta. Remember, for money-saving meals that are nutritious and mighty good-tasting, too, let Velveeta be your handy budget helper. Just be sure you get genuine Velveeta when you buy. It's the cheese food of top quality, and it's made only by Kraft. Earlier this morning, the great Gildersleeve didn't know how he was going to spend Halloween, so he promoted a party at the Jolly Boys Club. But he ducked out on that when he had a chance to have a date with the attractive Mrs. Winthrop. Then, a little lost boy attached himself to the water commissioner. Now, Mike, how long had you been lost from your little friends when you stopped in here to trick or treat? I don't know. Well, we call all the Smiths in the telephone drink. You don't belong to any of them. <laughs> what's your father's first name? I don't know. Uh, what's your mother's name? Mama. Z. <laughs> <laughs> How are you making out for skill, Steve? Uh, I haven't learned much, Bertie. What street you live on, baby? I'm not a baby. <laughs> Watch it, Bertie. Oh, excuse me. Where do you live, Mr. Mike? He doesn't know, Bertie. Well, I've only lived there a little while. I want to go home. Well, we're trying to get you there, Mike. Hi, Unc. What's going on? Yo, Leroy, this is Mike. Hi. Hello. Mike was out for tricks or treats and got lost, Leroy. Yeah? Poor little fella. He doesn't know where he lives. What are we going to do with him? Raise him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll find out where he belongs. How? I don't know. Well, you know. I'll call the police station. I haven't done anything. I'm just lost. <laughs> Leroy, I called the chief half an hour ago Nobody's reported a missing boy Maybe he's a girl <laughs> <laughs> I am not <laughs> Careful, little ghost has a temper <laughs> Leroy, why aren't you down at the Jolly Boys Club with the other kids? Oh, since you weren't going, I decided to go to Piggy's I just came home to get my electric doorknob buzzer Ew, that Mr. Gillespie, why don't you take Mike down to the Jolly Boys Club? Maybe his crowd dropped in down there. Not a bad idea, Bertie. Frankly, every kid in the neighborhood will be there. Somebody will know who he is. I know who I am. Where do I live? <laughs> Mike, I'm doing the best I can. You wait till I get my hat out of the coat closet. Yikes! Here we are, Mike. That's the Jolly Boys Club right upstairs there where you see the light. Is that a big bat in the window? No, that's Judge Hooker. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a lot of kitties up there. I'm sure some of them will know you. Mister, you're a nice man to help find me. Yeah, I'm glad to do it, Mike. <laughs> and after you get you home, maybe you can help me sometime. Do you get lost? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm afraid I've lost out with my girl. Yeah, let me help you up on my shoulders. Whee! Yeah, that's it. I'll take you up the stairs piggyback. Boy, this is fun. You, you bet. Say, I didn't hear any noise up there. I wonder what they're doing. Well, gang, look who's here. The big idea man himself. 
Hello, Floyd. Peavy. Judge. Gildy, I thought you had a date. Well, Judge, I called it off. I thought I'd better bring this little fellow up to the party. Mm, it's time somebody came. <laughs> Hello, young man. Hi, pal. Hello. You are all the kids. No, they aren't here. You straggled up for candy and stuff. Yeah, but we sang them a couple of songs and they left. <laughs> you? Well, I thought the place would be jumpy. You sure thought up a dud, Commission. No, Floyd. Mr. Gildersleeve, do you know what I think of your idea? <laughs> What's this, Petey? <laughs> <laughs> no, fellows, the party was a good idea. But I guess I just thought of it too late. And I went to all this trouble to look like a bat. You didn't have to go to much trouble. <laughs> Floyd? Well, let's give Mr. Gildersleeve's little friend an apple and a noisemaker, and then I'll go home. You wait a minute, wait a minute. This little fellow is lost. Lost? You don't say. Yeah, I was hoping there'd be some children here who'd recognize him. His name's Mike. Mike who? Mike Smith. Yeah, Smith. You're lost, huh, Mike? Yeah, lost. Where do you live? I keep saying I don't know, and I don't. <laughs> well, he's new in town, Floyd. He came to my door just as I was leaving. Oh, broke up your date, huh? Well, it serves you right for two-timing us jolly boys. Now, Floyd, Gildy's trying to do the right thing. Well, he... are you hungry, Mike? I guess so. Well, here, have an apple. Thanks. And you can fill your pockets with candy. Thanks. <laughs> you polite little fellow. What are you going to do with him, Commish? Yeah, I don't know. His family isn't listed in the phone book. Why don't you take the boy to the police station, Gildy? Gosh. Judge, the police station ain't no place for a nice little gent like Mike. Well, I checked with the chief fellows. Nobody's inquired about a little boy. Well, it's too early for him to be missed. The kids won't be through soaping windows till about 10 o'clock. Soaping windows isn't nice. That's right, Mike. Well, gee whiz, somebody come up with something. What'll we do with him? I want to go home. Okay, okay. We can take him to my house until we find out where his family is. Now, let's take him to my house. It's closer. I want to go home. You fellas, <laughs> he rang my doorbell. If we take him any place, we'll take him back to my house. Well, while you're hashing that out, I'll put on a mask and amuse you, boy. Mike, look. <laughs> How do you like that, Mike? I want to go home. <laughs> Pretty fine. <laughs> Gentlemen, I suggest we take the boy back to Gildy's and conduct the search from there. Well, let's go. We have to figure out something. Yeah, I'll get it. Yeah, maybe it's Chief Gates. Hello? Yes, Chief? It is the police department. Be quiet, Judge. You ask that, Chief? Yeah, the little fellow's here. You have? Great. You ask that? 875 Adams Avenue. We'll take him right over and see if he's the boy. Yeah, thanks, Chief. Goodbye. Buck up, kid. Looks like you're home free. Well, Mike, the chances are you belong at 875 Adams Avenue. You think I do? Mm. No <laughs> doubt about it. Come on now. I'll take you home. I'm going along, too. Yeah, me too. Well, I'm not going to stay here all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Commish, what are we going to do with all this Halloween stuff? we got a barrel of it. That's right. We shouldn't leave it here. Well, throw it in the car, fellows. We'll divide it later. Okay. Your family will be happy to see you, Mike. Do you have any little brothers or sisters? I don't think so. What does your father do? I don't know. Mike's pretty close mouth. He ain't telling nothing. I don't know nothing to tell. <laughs> well, we'll soon find out something. Come on, man. Pick up the stuff and let's go. I'm sorry the party didn't work out, fellows. Yeah, I guess we can call it a good Halloween if we get Mike home. Yeah, there's no fun being lost when you're hardly big enough to find. <laughs> Judge, move over a little. Oh, sorry if I'm crowding you, Gilda. Isn't that you're sitting on the marshmallows? <laughs> Is that it? I thought your cushions were unusually soft. <laughs> what the heck? We got more candy than we know what to do with. Well, here's Adams Avenue. Isn't this exciting? If it turns out to be Mike's house, I'm going to blow my horn again. <laughs> <laughs> Does this street look familiar, Mike? It, Mike? I believe.
believe he's fallen asleep. He has? Oh, isn't that a picture? Hey, Pete, let me hold him, will you? I'm afraid he'll wake up, Floyd. <laughs> Look, he's got his arm around my neck. Look for numbers, fellas. Here's 875, right on the corner. Are you sure that's 875? That's a children's home. A children's home? No kidding. Yes, it is, Floyd. Well, let's not just sit here and look at each other. Better see if this is where Mike lives. You wake up the little fellow, Pete. Yeah, well, Mike. Mikey boy. <coughs> you know where you are, Mike? Am I home? We think so, my boy. Mike, do you recognize this house? Yeah, sure. That's where I live. Mike, why didn't you tell us you lived with a lot of other little boys and girls? Nobody asked me. <laughs> By George, we didn't. Never occurred to me. Can I go in now? Yeah, of course, Mike. Yeah, I'll take you up to the door. Okay. We'd better wait here in the car, Gilda. You're all right, Judge. Mike, there's a jack-o'-lantern in the window. Must be having a little party. Yeah, but they don't have very much. They don't. Well, by George, they're going to... Judge, Phoebe, Floyd, unload the car. Hey, that's a great idea. And bring the candy and noisemakers. Bring everything. Help me with these boxes, Phoebe. Gosh, mister, you really mean it? You bet. This is going to be the best Halloween we've ever had. <laughs> The Great Gildersleeve will be with us again in just 30 seconds. Need a hot lunch in a hurry? Then make grilled sandwiches with Kraft Smooth Melting Pasteurized Processed Cheese Food, Velveeta. With Golden Velveeta, you can make delicious sandwiches because Velveeta has such a grand, rich, yet mild cheddar cheese flavor. And Velveeta makes sandwiches so nourishing, too, because it's rich in important food values from milk. Enjoy a quick, easy lunch of grilled Velveeta sandwiches tomorrow. Just be sure you get the cheese food of finest quality, genuine Velveeta, made only by Kraft. Good night, Mike. Good night, Mr. Gildersleeve. And thanks for the party. You don't mention it, my boy. We had a wonderful time. So did we. Mr. Gildersleeve? Yes, Mike? I want to tell you something. You do? If I ever have a father, I hope he's just like you. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Bless you, my boy. Good night, folks. <laughs> The Great Gildersleeve is played by Willard Waterman. The show is written by John Elliott and Andy White and is partially transcribed. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Mary Lee Robb, Lillian Randolph, Earl Ross, Arthur Q. Bryan, Tommy Reddick, and Dick Legrand. Musical composition by Jack Meekin. This is John Heaston saying good night for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of those famous Kraft quality foods. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further adventures of The Great Gildersleeve. How can you make a sandwich just the way you like it? Easy. Take some bread, some good cold roast out of the icebox, then add a touch of Kraft's prepared mustard. For when you add a little mustard, you add a lot of tang. Kraft's mustard makes a sandwich just right. Remember, there are two kinds of Kraft mustard to choose from. Kraft salad mustard, mild and delicately spiced, and Kraft mustard with snappy horseradish added. With either kind, when you add a little mustard, you add a lot of tang. Get Kraft's prepared mustard. Groucho Marx, you bet.